Uh, the statistics from Uganda Bureau of Statistics uh, put improved water in Uganda at uh, 76 percent. Um, however, the MDGs, uh, Uganda has pledged to meet uh, 89 percent. And from what I know, there's not a lot of time left to 2015, which is the date, I mean the year by which this must be attained. So this really places us in a very bad, I, I think we will not be able to meet that target. Experts in the water sector think that government should fast track partnership with the private sector on acquisition of cheaper and more efficient technologies to ease provision of safe water. Regarding to the Engineer sunlight, Manfred van Rich, the chief science officer at Crypton Virtual Assistance, says the current water treatment and supply systems are hugely capital intensive to run and need to be decentralized to reach everyone in a more efficient way. We have our village system are made producing 2,000 liters of potable water, or tap water as it is as well called, plus 200 liters drinking water, including the oxidation system, we're talking here an amount of about 19,000 to 20,000 dollars for a whole village. These observations came up at a demonstration exercise of how clean water is produced using an oxidation system to a group of Somali, Congolese men and women, led by a Norwegian technical team here in Kampala. The country's efforts with regard to the Millennium Development Goals for Water and Sanitation are enshrined in the National Development Plan 2010, 2011, 2014 and 2015 and are directed towards attaining urban water coverage of 100% and national sanitation coverage of 77% by 2015.